So I'm Kubo from Slovakia and from the Esperanto user group. And uh, when I started, started uh, working in uh, organized uh, Wikimedia, uh, Wikimedia world, uh, I faced an organization which basically didn't exist. Uh, it consists from four activists, uh, one page on Wikipedia about bylaws, and one email, uh, uh, one uh, email address. And I was supposed to uh, to grow the organization from nothing, so I did. <laughs> And uh, as I'm an uh, uh, IT guy, uh, I have some uh, natural, natural tendency to reductionism into, uh, into uh, uh, IT stuff. And uh, I realized that I know nearly nothing about these, uh, these programs that can facilitate my work and work of my organization. Can you stand a little bit closer to the mic? Yes. Um, so uh, I did a small survey in uh, uh, between, uh, between of you. Uh, thanks for this one uh, who responded for it. It uh, provided uh, usable usable feedback. Uh, I will present uh, some uh, topics, uh, broad topics of IT, and uh, some very small statistics about usage in uh, C region. Uh, some of my recommendations, opinions, of course it's my recommendations, re opinions, uh, and it's after that your task to uh, integrate it into your co cultural environment. And uh, I will present some uh, features that I consider useful uh, for considering uh, about election of some software. So first of, first of all, uh, what this software entirely is? So we can think as yes, yeah, software is what is inside this or what is inside there, but basically software is tool that is uh, like structure uh, that is structure for success of your organi organization. We have a big mission. We have uh, we want to provide free knowledge for for the whole world, and yes, ma making some structures that uh, are helping us uh, to grim the ladder uh, can be useful. Uh, when I uh, approach this uh, topic. Uh, I receive, usually receive um, questions that, hey Kubov, do, uh, do we really uh, do we need this solution? And I basically say that uh, we doesn't need it, but it can be appropriate. It can be. Uh, for example, do we need bots on our wiki projects? What do you think? Do we need bots on wiki projects? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Why? Because there are some cosmetic edits that you shouldn't allow uh, manual users to do. Shouldn't allow? Shouldn't allow users to do it manually. Like, for example. No, there is something that uh, you should uh, not allow users to do. Like some cosmetic edits or anything else that uh, users can uh, waste their time more productively to do instead of doing uh, such things. Yes, uh, they will so waste their time. But basically, uh, it, it is possible to make these edits by, uh, by manually, but it's uh, wasting time. Yeah, yes. uh, very, very similar affair, just uh, we don't, I would say that we don't need bots, but if, I, if, I, if we are using bots, we are not wasting our time, as Kiro said. So we don't need uh, these tools that I will present, but that can, that can be, uh, they can be appropriate for your work. Uh, you, uh, you should consider the scalability of the solution uh, uh, much, uh, much similar than as bots because uh, making 100 edits uh, uh, editing 100 articles and 1000 articles it's uh, like 10 times more but make, making bots that edit uh, 100 articles and 1000 articles that's very small change and with a uh, very big uh, impact so think about the scalability and automatization uh, because uh, these tools uh, can provide you things that you do for, for once and they repeat it for some time. Uh, so you, you can, uh, your work can be better because you know that it will be worked for the future. And uh, more about uh, constructing structure for success, I recommend this article. Uh, another considerations. Uh, access uh, to the software. Uh, 
we are an organization with uh, several people and most of us doesn't have office, some yes. Uh, but uh, we are uh, living in distinct places uh, and we are distributed. So I prefer the solutions that are on, uh, hosted on some website, that are online. Uh, so everyone can have access and so multiple people. Uh, there are some legal regulations uh, you, you should take into account. Uh, some are for whole region, uh, like European Union. Uh, some are very specific for some country. Uh, mostly are um, mostly they are um, treating uh, personal data, which are quite important. Uh, of, uh, of course, uh, you should consider administrative costs. I think about uh, creating account or some website. It's not just like creating account. Uh, installing that software on your uh, on your uh, server. Uh, you for that you need uh, money or some uh, time of uh, valuable IT guy. And the uh, last thing uh, I consider is license. Because yes, we have some money for buying uh, software, but uh, when supporting uh, free software, uh, we, su we are supporting the whole uh, free and uh, free culture, and that is uh, supporting us in the background. So let's dig into the topic. The first topic is communication and the email system. Uh, from the survey, most of uh, the people who, who responded uh, doesn't use uh, organization-wide mail system, just just using their per, uh, personal ones. It can be useful. Uh, that can be a very shortcut for the beginning uh, organization which is starting. Uh, but uh, when organization profession, yes, uh, when you uh, want the uh, email on your own website, you can uh, you have several choices. Uh, one like very big suit for uh, several of these applications that I will uh, mention in the next slides is Google Suite for nonprofits. So all the uh, Gmail, uh, Google Drive, uh, Calendar, and all this stuff on your own uh, domain. Of course, there are several local alternatives, but uh, they are valid for your country, especially. And uh, if you want uh, more security and more control about these things, you can self-host uh, mail system like by uh, Roundcube or similar. Um, most of us are using uh, mailing lists provided by uh, Wikimedia Foundation, list.wikimedia.org. Uh, several of us are using Google Groups, which are very simple to, uh, to start and, and administer. And if you want more flexibility and you, you, you can provide uh, more staff for hours, uh, you can self-host Mailman, as Wikimedia Foundation do, and several chapters like uh, Wikimedia Poland. Mass emailing. Uh, you can think about this like uh, email marketing. Uh, of course, there are some new types of communication, like uh, social media or uh, instant messaging channels. But uh, email still remain a very, a very important thing of, we say, marketing. But we can use uh, for informing uh, users, our members, um, project partners, some uh, not affiliate but interested organizations. A uh, very basic, a uh, very basic solution is uh, mailman by uh, Wikimedia Foundation, and. Uh, some other possibilities are civil mail and MailChimp. Uh, with MailChimp, is is a bit problem because it's uh, hosted in the USA and in the European Union, it can be problematic to provide this personal data. Uh, you can host your own CV, uh, CV CRM. I will talk about this later. And inside of that CV mail, but it's quite a big software for can be small thing. Can I ask you about Cvmail? Uh, there is limited number of um, people who can, because Mailchimp, it's for free, but if you have, I don't know, more than 700, uh, I don't know what's the number. So what's the difference between? Uh, Cvmail is hosted on your website and 
just practically unlimited. And for free? Yes, it's open source. <coughs> Uh, I have caught in the survival on a rapid mail, uh, which even cost some money to send messages, and it was uh, considered absolutely worth of this cost. So consider yourself and some features that I uh, uh, propose. I'm sure this was very diverse options, and everybody is using some, something else. So Facebook, Skype, IRC, Telegram. We have now Telegram for this meeting. Uh, if you want a really secure solution, you can try Docs, maybe Signal. <laughs> but again, depends on your culture and environment. Social media automation was quite hard to uh, tool because uh, there are some different content for different medias, like Facebook and Twitter is absolutely different, uh, different content. And it's hard to combine them. Uh, but you can still use TweetDeck, some official Facebook tools like RS, and or outsource to, to another organization. Uh, contacts management, I will uh, join with uh, membership management. So most of organizations are not using a uh, management system for contacts, just using some personal like email address list or something like that. Several are using uh, online uh, Google spreadsheets or for specific projects uh, in the project management tool. Uh, if you are hard about contacts or about uh, members, you can uh, install or use service of some CRM, uh, Constituent Relationship Management. But it's again uh, some big software for... Uh, I don't recommend uh, these CRMs for small organization or organizations or if you have quite relatively small amount of contacts outside of your organization. Uh, <laughs> okay, about operations. Uh, I define operations as uh, long-term long activities with, uh, with open-ended, uh, and you're, you're just doing it for the uh, for ba basic functioning or, of organization. Uh, I'm not too rigid uh, depending operations on projects, so some things are unusual. Uh, similar to uh, contacts management, uh, for membership management, uh, most of the respondents of my survey uh, use just public wiki page, like open membership, just seeing on this meta page and you are our member. Uh, can work fi uh, f uh, fine for beginning organizations. Uh, for legal reasons, it may be uh, needed in your country to not provide personal data on uh, online. So, but this depends hardly on your country. So consider that be, uh, be, uh, in when you are, when you when you will elect such software. And both online and offline, you can use simple spreadsheet software like Google, uh, Microsoft Excel, or LibreOffice Cal uh, Calc, or similar. And again, these big solutions like some another C C uh, CRM. Uh, this uh, membership management can be very useful for, uh, for example, remembering messages. When your member uh, forget to uh, pay his uh, me member fee for next year, just sending, "Ah, oh, you was our member for last five years. So do you want to be still member? Please uh, send money to this account." Blah blah. And that can be fully, autom uh, fully automatic. So once, once time you are uh, setting it up and it just works. Uh, CMS, like Content Management System, uh, it's uh, software for creating your website. Uh, we as a Wikimedia movement, we are uh, all, many of us are using MediaWiki software, both on, uh, hosted on Wikimedia Foundation and uh, self-hosted. Uh, it looks like Wikipedia, it's nice, our people can work with it, uh, we can work, work with it. Uh, it has some limitations and like, uh, it looks like Wikipedia. And it can uh, be some strange for uh, outside organization like some partners. Can be, but not needed. Again, it depends on your cultural environment. Uh, another popular sol solutions are WordPress, Drupal, Joomla. 
a very popular CM, uh, CM, uh, CMS. Uh, and uh, inside of them is much simpler than in MediaWiki to uh, adapt the uh, interface, the, the look of the website that the visitors see. Uh, many of them are mobile friendly and it's very important in our times to provide solutions that are mobile friend friendly. And you should consider to use your website for not only just like usual website, but for, as a platform for another programs. I was men uh, I mentioned uh, CV Mail or C CV CRM, and it's a program that can be integrated into uh, WordPress, Drupal, Joomla. So if, if you have bigger plans, uh, you think about support uh, about platform. Calendar was considered uh, very useful, especially when someone, uh, some organization have um, uh, employees, but also for uh, events and, for example, like uh, holidays of uh, main activists, uh, board uh, board meetings and uh, some of that. And if someone, uh, some organization was using, was just using Google Calendar, like no real, uh, no big alternative uh, in that topic. Financial donations uh, are not so much used in our moment, maybe because of the Foundation and their great grants that you all, all, all like. Uh, so not so important. Uh, yes, there are some special specialized fundraising softwares. Yes. Yes, uh, with CV contribute. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, accounting, just use uh, uh, general spreadsheet software, and if so, so something very special for your country, just um, you should know better because it's specialized for for your country. Uh, instead of decision making, uh, we was hardly using something another than Doodle. Just Doodle, 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 Doodle. Uh, very great, great software for uh, planning, uh, planning meetings and schedule. Some was trying Trello, but for decision making it just doesn't work so great. Uh, some of my friends tried L uh, Lumio. I hope I pronounced it great. Um, and it can be very useful for uh, community decision making uh, because it can provide a uh, very, very quick uh, like negative feedback. And uh, quick neg negative feedback uh, can be very useful for just getting an uh, getting idea out because it just it doesn't work. Uh, again, note state taking was uh, um, very diverse in our region. There are several options you can use, uh, both for your personally and for organizations. Like, uh, if you have Trello, Trello, Trello board for meeting, you can have a special card uh, when you are just comment, uh, making comment, uh, a comment, a quick note from the, from the meeting. Uh, file sharing is uh, very important uh, because there are some very specific uh, files that uh, should be available for whole board or board or or um, uh, revision committee or some other committees. And uh, most, most of us are just using uh, Google Drive or Dropbox. Uh, still, Google Drive can be used on your own domain uh, as a Google site, uh, suite for nonprofits. Uh, if you have a big, uh, you want uh, some big uh, solution, you can use sharing on your own server, like FTP server or uh, making your own cloud. Uh, again, big solution. And for a shortcut, just use your MediaWiki installation, like internal wiki. Uh, documents are a bit different from this uh, file sharing because uh, I, uh, I ask uh, this uh, discussion as a uh, Documents you can edit, uh, edit uh, in uh, edit share documents. Uh, again, mostly Google Drive, and some of us are just using public sharing or, or as on a meta page, 
ether path internality. Uh, you should consider uh, in many of these uh, tools, not only this, uh, about uh, access policy. So you may have uh, need uh, another access for board members, another for usual members, another for public. Uh, project management. Uh, according to me, a very important topic because uh, as we have uh, much, uh, more projects, uh, these projects have different timelines and that the, the, these timelines are overlapping and in, uh, to make sense of all of them, uh, some, some tool to highlight all the stuff, uh, all the tasks and uh, deadlines uh, can be very useful. Most of us are using Trello. It's very simple, it's uh, gratis, not free, but uh, not library, but gratis. Uh, people can use it, uh, learn, use it very, uh, very quickly. Uh, but for these traditional project management tools, it provides some very basic stuff. Uh, but uh, according, uh, uh, as you have to work with uh, persons which may not have a lot of time to learn uh, co some compli complicated software, is a very good option about usability and uh, learnability. Uh, another possibility is Fabricator, uh, Fabricator by uh, Wikimedia Foundation, Redmine, just much complicated softwares. Uh, some very cool stuff that uh, these project management tools can provide is repetitive tasks or projects. So we have just uh, some schema, uh, schema of project and just copying them for ne next year. can be very useful and save your time. <laughs> Voluntary management. Nobody is using it. Nobody is using it. Uh, it can be useful for uh, volunteer. Uh, I am thinking about this for Wikimedia Slovakia because we have, uh, beca uh, because of course uh, volunteers are very rare, and uh, we acknowledge that we acknowledge that uh, we are not pro asking people to become volunteers quite actively, and we can say okay, just uh, write to us, but there's <coughs> yes. Uh, there is some barrier for new people to become volunteers. So such software can lo lower this barrier. Please? What do you mean on the volunteer management? Ah, yes, a good question. Uh, some tool integrated, uh, which can provide tools like uh, Sync Up uh, Formula, uh, that I am interested about volunteering in your organization, but I don't know uh, in which topic. Or uh, projects with volunteer opportunities. We need volunteer for uh, checking uh, uh, in the registration, we volunteer to distribute food, uh, we volunteer for, for this uh, topic. So it's look like a site and you can push there, there are volunteering opportunities? For example, yes. And you, you can define we need uh, this volunteer opportunity for that time, beginning that, and without end or something like that. So we, we just, for example, we worked a lot with uh, volunteers, uh, not exactly with wiki projects, but with Art of Common, stuff and <coughs> like this. And uh, we tried to make it like a Trello board for volunteers and there are different opportunities or something. So, it's interesting. It can work. And uh, this uh, project management tools can be quite general, so usable in different ways. For this, we are thinking about making our members wiki a semantic media wiki. We are thinking about turning ah. our members wiki into semantic wiki because that helps to have um, features like you just described on the wiki and then also make databases out of it. Also for landing equipment and things like that. Like once you already have the volunteers just to manage how they, you know, get, get their support and things like that. We don't, have, we don't know how it will work out but that's what <laughs> we are thinking about just as another option for, for that kind of... Uh, Yes, semantic wiki uh, for membership wiki can be a very interesting yeah. option. Okay. Uh, time tracking. Uh, there was a survey in Wikimedia movement about uh, using uh, different about uh, using different resources, and it showed up that uh, time is a very important resource that we as a volunteer movement have, but just uh, very little is uh, very little of organizations is tra actually tracking the time of our volunteers. And yes, uh, in my survey, only one organization did uh, really track uh, their time. 
and uh, from the tools that, uh, according to my cons considerations, I recommend just Kimai. Uh, Kim I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Uh, invoices, again, uh, just no real users. And if so, like general spreadsheet software or, or enterprise resource planning. But small topic. Okay, and we have four more minutes for your questions. Thank you. I hope it uh, wasn't uh, too, uh, too fast. <laughs> and of course, uh, if you have some very specific questions or some techni technical de details, I will be for the whole meet meeting. And some of these questions just require very more time <laughs> for discussing. So please. Hello, one more time. I want to ask, uh, for example, um, what is your role in in your community, I mean, do you um, something like uh, offer people to use different tools, uh, or what is your role? I mean, how do you connect it exactly with different such management tools that you describe? Okay, uh, my nowadays situation is that I want to build this structure again. We had some, but we are absolutely reconstructing it. So uh, for my organization, is just uh, not really work. Uh, some my stuff. Um, I am president of Wikimedia Slovakia user group to be, and the Esperanto group, and in both uh, a leader of the Esperanto group. And we are just uh, no, uh, we are building structure. Yes, uh, we have some, and I think some new. Yeah, yeah, that's that's very interesting because, uh, for example, when we uh, worked used to work with different tools or try to work with some tools. It's usually, um, I just wanted to mention, it's not like a question, but mention that it's um, very difficult to offer some new tools to people and make uh, them work together in this tool. You need every time to write, uh, please not write me on a Facebook writing to travel because everyone in this group can see it, it's very important. And, so it's, so it's inter interesting to know your something like experience in engaging new people in your different uh, geeky tools. That's, uh, that's a very good comment, a very good note, and I would say that uh, yes, to make uh, to begin to use some uh, some uh, some such tool is quite simple, uh, but to sustain it uh, for people to use it, uh, yeah, like su in a sustainable way, is quite more more difficult. It's not a technical thing, so. <laughs> Uh, don't ask technical guy about how to uh, motivate people uh, to use some software. And a quick note, uh, uh, when you are just uh, looking for some application, I recommend this site, Alternative 2, uh, to, to find just alternative for software you, you are using or you want to use. I have uh, one question. Uh, have you ever considered the possibility of instant messaging uh, hosted on MediaWiki? Uh, for example, if you type here the same time, let's say something similar to same time, instant messaging, you can see who is online, who you can ping immediately instead of emailing him and waiting for the uh, answer. Uh, I don't understand your question well. Well, something that we can, we can use like instant messaging uh, immediately to ping somebody like, uh, you know, on Facebook, uh, if you want to write to some, someone. Uh, Cornelius is asking. No, I'm answering. Mm -hmm. okay. Asking for answer. Um, it is, they're planning to introduce it, but it takes a lot of time, and it's really, it needs a lot of performance of our service. So there is, there is a plan to introduce this instant messaging function. Uh, this will take two to three years from now. Thanks. Okay, thank you again.